In this video, we're going to be talking about short squeezes, but in particular, the stock that we're going to be looking at is MGNX. Now, there's multiple things that you need to look at to find a stock with a short squeeze, and you can make some really good money on it if you can find it. But when you're looking for a short squeeze, you need multiple ingredients, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at what you need to find. The same thing if you're trying to fine tune your golf swing. When you have all the ingredients right, you can hit the ball flush, and it makes it sound so good. It's the same thing for the stock. When you have all the ingredients right for the short squeeze, it's just a flush move right up to the upside. So some of the first things that you want to look at for a short squeeze is the volume. Does the stock have volume? And if you don't know what volume is, very easy way to put it is say if you're at a party and there's not a lot of people, but then a lot of people show up to the party and it gets really crowded and everything. You be in my pool, you piss your pants. There ain't no water for your dance. That's the same thing with the volume. There's a lot of people trading the stock. And when you have a lot of people trading the stock, that's when the stock can make some serious moves. So that's the first ingredient that you need to find. And the second ingredient I'd like to see for a short squeeze is you would like the stock to be easy to borrow. When it comes to shorting, you have stocks that are easy to borrow, which basically means anybody and their brother can short the stock, which is what you want because then you're going to have a lot more squeeze out of it. And then you have other stocks that are hard to borrow, which only certain brokers are going to allow you to short. So when you have an easy to borrow stock to short, that means you can have a lot of people hop in there to short the stock. But you might be thinking to yourself, isn't that bad that a lot of people would get in to short the stock because then it's probably going to end up going down? Well, yeah, that could be the case too. But that's only the second ingredient to getting a short squeeze. My third ingredient to getting a short squeeze on a stock is I would like to see that stock run up pre-market really good. So before even trading the stock, it might be up 100% already. And you're probably saying, well, there's not going to be much meat on the bone if the stock is already up 100%. Well, just hold on a minute. Hold on. Let's think logically here. So if the stock is up 100% and it is easy to borrow, well, what are most people going to do then? They're going to go ahead and short it because it's up 100%. They're not running on good news. Maybe they're not running on any news at all. So people start shorting the stock, thinking that this thing ran up and it's a crap stock, which it probably is. So everybody starts shorting it and shorting it. But then you got a few people that are dumping some money into this stock because it ran up 100%. So they're thinking, hey, this might be a good investment. And the stock might start to go up, go up, go up. And as that stock is going up, this is when the short squeeze starts to happen. So just like if you were owning a stock and it was going down and you saw your account, you would be in the negative red. So it's the same thing when you have a short and you're shorting the stock and the stock starts going up, you're going to be in the red because you bet it against the stock. But here's the thing. So whenever you sell your short position, you actually have to buy the stock back so think about that for a minute the stock starts to go up and you have a short position and you want to get out of it because it's starting to go up so you sell your short not it's not really a sell but you get rid of it as you get out of your short position you actually buy shares of the stock so you getting out of your short position is going to make the stock go up more. Is this making sense to anybody yet? So as more shorts get out of their position, they're actually buying into the stock and buying shares, which is causing the stock to squeeze up. And that's a short squeeze. So when you're trying to find a squir uh, squirrel, 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 that's not it. So when you're trying to find a short squeeze, these are the three ingredients that I like to look for in them. And it's not that hard to find them. The easiest way to find these stocks is the stocks that gap up in the morning. Because all of the stocks that gap up in the morning are up really good and people are looking to short them and get on them and get, get their shorted on. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, hit the like button and let's make some money out there.